Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 452. Epilepsy Drug Toxicities. What are all the toxicities observed in benzodiazepines? The toxicities of benzodiazepines include sedation, tolerance, and dependence. What are the toxicities observed with carbamazepine? The toxicities observed with carbamazepine includes diplopia, ataxia, blood dyscrasia such as agranulocytosis or aplastic anemia, liver toxicity, teratogenesis, induction of cytochrome P450, SIADH, and Steven Johnson syndrome. What is blood dyscrasia? Blood dyscrasia just means that there is something that's not right in the blood. It can include an increase or decrease in the total number of red blood cells which would either be polycythemia or anemia. There can also be abnormal or neoplastic white blood cells, such as leukemias, or it can also be abnormal or insufficient platelets, and that can be either coagulopathy or thrombocytopenia. So any of these discrepancies is considered blood dyscrasia. What is teratogenic drug? Teratogenic drug is just a drug that should not be used during pregnancy because it may cause some sort of damage or harm to the unborn baby. What is SIADH? SIADH just stands for Syndrome of Inappropriate Antidiuretic Hormone and this is characterized by excessive release of antidiuretic hormone from the posterior pituitary gland. Describe what all occurs in Stevens-Johnson Syndrome. In Stevens-Johnson Syndrome, it starts off with malaise and fever and then that's followed by onset of erythromatous and purpuric macules and those macules are going to be found in the mouth, in the eye, and even the genitals. And after the skin lesions, it's going to progress into epidermal necrosis and slawing. And slawing just means shedding of the skin. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.